Okay, so we're going to learn how to do a little balancing act here in the Module 6 Skill Builder about the triple beam balance. If you've never used a triple beam balance, this is something that you would become quite familiar with in the traditional lab course. Uh, triple beam balances take mass, and so it, this is the best we can do as far as doing a simulated experience with a triple beam balance. So you can enter your name if you want, you don't actually have to. Uh, unless you really want to have a certificate at the end. Uh, but here's how a triple beam balance works. Um, you know, you put a mass on here and th this, it's kind of like a little seesaw. And this side eventually will come to a balance point where the, the white lines are kind of matched up there. That's when you know you're in balance. You've got some masses sitting here and they are just equal. They're, they're, they're able to balance out this particular mass. So it's a way of finding out the mass. So now how do you read this thing? You'll want to hit your little zoom button or your little magnifying glass. That's going to show you the front, the what's called the front rider. There's actually three riders. There's one back here. There's a, a, a larger mass here, a slightly smaller mass here, and then the smallest mass is up front. So in reading this one, uh, you read from the from the largest mass first. So that's a that's a 500 there. And if you can see the way these are, then on the back rider. You have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. It's actually on the 90 spot. So we've got 590, and now I have to look at my front rider. And notice this is these are now in increments of 1 gram. So here's 1 gram, 2 grams, 3 grams, 4 grams, 5 grams, etc. So right now, my little arrow here is pointed somewhere between 0 grams and 1 gram. So I know with a fair amount of confidence that my mass is 590 and then zero grams but it's not exactly zero grams it's more than zero grams so i have to think about okay what do these additional little marks in between here mean well if that's zero grams and that's one gram and i've got 10 marks in between them that tells me that each of these is worth one tenth of a gram so there's 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 and then up to one gram Notice my little arrow is pointing at about 0.7. So to, to enter my values then, notice I've got to fill in my first my first uh, decimal place, uh, which was, remember, it was 590. So 5, click that, moves over to that one. So now I click 9, nine I click a 0. And remember, this was, I had 7. So click a 7, and I can check my answer, and I am correct. Let's do another one just for funsies. Okay, so again, look at your three riders. The, the one in the middle, the largest one, is at 500. This one now in the back is at 10. And then notice, again, that's the, my little magnifying glass has zoomed in on my front my front rider. Notice my front rider is somewhere between 2 and 3. So I'm quite confident that my mass value is 510. And then we add 2. So 512, at least. It's somewhere between 512 and 513. So... So how much is it? Well, remember, it's 0 0.1, 0 0.2. It's 512.2. Let's see if we're right. So 512.2. Check it. And we are correct. And so you can continue to get more practice doing this. But this is what you would do in reading a triple beam balance to find the mass of an object if you were in a traditional lab setting.